If your business relies heavily on referrals, then it's going to be impossible for you to actually scale. With referrals, you really have no control over how many leads you're gonna get or when you're gonna even get them. It's essentially hoping for business. Instead, what you want is a system that delivers you leads consistently on autopilot every single day. How do you actually build that system? I'll share that with you right now. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Lloyd Yip, and I actually was working as the director of sales at a startup that scaled from zero to two and a half million dollars in just 18 months before leaving to start my own business, which we've also been able to scale to 60K per month. So a lot of the tactics that I'm gonna be sharing with you comes from my experiences there. So let's first talk about why referrals are really nice. And I think the biggest reason is because by the time someone gets referred to you, they've already been told by one of their friends or a mutual contact that you are very good at what you do. So it just inherently makes makes it a lot easier for that prospect to trust you enough that they want to buy. And this will allow you to actually shorten the sales cycle and make it easier for you to close. As well, if someone is coming in referred, usually they were already seeking and trying to find a solution because if they weren't, why would they ever get referred your services, right? So that means it's a little bit more of a qualified lead who is in the market to try to buy something and try to solve a specific problem. All of these things not only makes it easier for you to close at a high percentage, but it shortens your sales cycle. But the problem that you're gonna have with referrals in general is the fact that it's gonna be very unreliable. You don't ever really know how many referrals are coming in on a given month. You don't even know if you're gonna be getting any referrals. And this means you have a roller coaster ride up and down of some months being really good and some months being really bad. And overall, this is not a great place to be as a business owner because it causes a ton of stress. On the flip side, what you wanna have instead of just relying on essentially hope marketing, which is what referrals are, is a system. A system that allows you to take full control over your lead generation and your pipeline so that you can ultimately create your own destiny. So that you could actually dictate how many meetings and how many leads you're generating on a week to week, on a month to month basis. And this predictability allows you to actually have foresight into, okay, how many deals am I gonna likely close this month? And how can I project out and continue to increase my lead flow month over month so that I can actually build my business scalably? Because obviously with referrals being that it's totally unpredictable, there's no way that you can actually scale your business in a methodical manner. You're really, once again, just relying and hoping that you get referrals on the month to month basis. So let let me actually write down to you what the purpose of the system is and what you're gonna wanna have out of this system. So the first thing is predictability over lead flow. The second thing is you want the system to be automated, meaning even if you are not present working the system day in, day out, even if you're not like behind the scenes operating it, it still needs to work, even if you're sleeping, even if you're on vacation. The third thing is you wanna be able to have control over the outputs. So you wanna have to have control over outputs. So this might mean you wanna put like a dollar in and you wanna be able to generate like $5 out. Control over input, which leads to then a predictable amount of output coming out the other end. So with these three things, having predictability over the lead flow, being able to automate this entire thing and also being able to control the degree at which you can scale because you can allocate a dollar in and then more money just comes out the other end. This is the type of system that would be ideal to build compared to just having referrals. So the question really is, what does the system actually look like? And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more epic content like this every single week for free. So let me actually go through a couple different systems for you right now as an example. A couple of these are not going to be effective and I'm gonna tell you what they are so that you don't do them. And then after, I'm gonna also tell you the system that I use and the system that I think is infinitely more scalable and more impactful, but also more cost efficient. And it's really what you should be deploying. But First off, let's go into what you should not do. So here is like a very typical example of a system that people are still deploying now, which has frankly lost a lot of its effectiveness. And that is straight up just like cold pitching people. So trying to just cold pitch, this could be a cold DM, this could be a cold call, this could be a cold email, but trying to actually generate a ton of meetings out of this no longer works very well because of the fact that frankly, people don't trust those who are just cold pitching them. And you could, 
Think about this from your own experience, right? How many times have you gotten cold DM'd or cold email from these people that are just trying to make massive claims and trying to tell you, hey, I can solve every single problem that you have in the world right now, but you need to book a call with me. It's very easy for anyone to make these claims and it's very hard for you to trust any of these people that they're gonna actually follow through on these claims because everyone makes these claims now. So many people are sending these messages out and because of that, it's just not going to be able to generate a very high conversion rate. So this is certainly no longer a system that I would recommend despite it having worked pretty well in the past. Now, another method that does not really work super well anymore is just sharing content organically. Essentially, what people have done for a long time is they would just share a video on Instagram or they would post a piece of content on YouTube or something along those lines and they would expect that the organic algorithm would just essentially find enough of an audience to their organically shared content that people will eventually start engaging and liking and maybe even booking a call. And I think back when social media was early in its heyday and there just wasn't that much competition, it was really easy to get organic views. And because it was easy to get organic views, then it would be relatively simple for you to be able to then book calls out of those organic views as long as your content was good. But the problem is now in 2023 and beyond, there's like a million people trying to create content on every single channel and just sharing content organically will almost never get you that many eyeballs. And if you have very few eyeballs, then it doesn't really matter how good your content is. No one's going to see it and no one's going to actually convert. And the other problem that happens with just organic content on its own is that people are very passive content consumers, right? How many YouTube videos have you checked out where you like the content, but unfortunately, you still did not book a call from the calendar booking link in the description box, right? It's there, you could totally book, but the majority of people don't actually take the action. So that is another inherent issue with just sharing content. You're expecting that the prospect is gonna do all the work to book the call when most of the time they're a bit too lazy. Now, the final method that people typically use to try to book calls systematically, which does not work super well anymore, is just running paid media into say a video sales letter, a VSL. So everyone's experienced this before, right? Maybe you've seen a webinar or you've seen a video sales letter from having opted into an ad at some point, but the reason why it doesn't work super well anymore today is A, it's very expensive. Partially it's because there's so many people trying to deploy these ads that it's gotten more expensive just due to pure competition. But the other thing is you're essentially asking Instagram or YouTube or Facebook to drive their traffic off their social media platform onto your site. And that's very expensive because Instagram and Facebook and all these channels are very incentivized to keep you on their platform. And if you're asking them to, hey, send me this traffic to my website so I can get them to give me their email, you're gonna be asking them to charge you three, four, five times as much money. So the combination of just a very, very high ad costs and the fact as well that people are just kind of sick and tired of watching these webinar ads has made it so that it's much harder for you to get results doing this particular strategy. So the question is, if these systems don't work, then what does work? So let me actually share with you my system and what I would recommend to you. And it's helped many of my clients be able to scale from 50 all the way up to 100K per month and beyond. So what is the core of the system? And the truth is the core of the system is YouTube. It's what you're literally watching right now. And the reason why YouTube is so important is because long form video and long form audio is what allows you to build trust. If you think back to referrals, the reason why referrals work really well is because people already trust you by the time they enter the call because your friend or your mutual client has actually told them you're good at what you do. Now with a cold outreach or a cold marketing campaign, they don't trust you. And that makes it much harder for you to even get people to show up on the call, let alone buy. Whereas if they are able to first see a bunch of your YouTube videos and your videos actually are able to solve their problems and teach them something that they don't already know, it makes it significantly easier for them to actually show up on the call. And by the time they're on the call, they've seen enough of your content that they trust you and they're likely to buy. So YouTube, fixes the issue that cold DMing has. Now, if you look back though, at my previous systems that I don't recommend, part of that included organic content and YouTube in and of itself is organic content. So the question really is, how do you solve the problem of getting traffic, right? Because YouTube, if you were to just build a channel from scratch, it's really hard to even get eyeballs. So the method that I teach primarily is to actually run paid media into your YouTube channel. So the question is, how do we actually do this? What is the methodology? So there's really two primary ways that I like to achieve this. The first method is by utilizing essentially Instagram ads, where 
you're actually gonna be using Instagram ads not to try to push someone into your website and convert, but instead, you're actually going to be driving someone to just follow your profile. And there's gonna be a very, very specific ad funnel that we deploy, which gets someone to just understand, oh, there is a ton of content on this person's Instagram profile, I wanna follow them, and they can watch through all this content. And the key is, all the content in my Instagram is actually driving people to go and follow my YouTube channel. And you can see here, there's a free training that's right here, and in order to access it, you gotta click in, it's on my YouTube channel, and if you were to watch any of my Instagram videos, which are all roughly 30 seconds to a minute long, all of them are essentially just shorter form versions of my YouTube channel, and if they wanna watch the entire thing, I always have a call to action in my Instagram videos that says, hey, go to my YouTube channel and find out more. And part of the reason why this is so cost effective is because when we're running Instagram follower ads, it's significantly cheaper because we're not trying to push someone into a website. It's actually really, really cheap to just get a single follower to start uh, following our Instagram page. And it's the same thing on YouTube. And it's the same thing on LinkedIn. We could run LinkedIn follower ads and engagement ads. And once someone is actually following us on LinkedIn and they see all of our content, we're now directing them into our YouTube YouTube funnel, both via the content that we're posting, but also we'll just DM them, right? That's a really beautiful thing. As soon as someone follows us, we'll just DM them access to our YouTube channel and LinkedIn will do the exact same thing. So that's the beautiful thing, right? Paid media goes into YouTube and from there, because they've actually seen our YouTube content, it becomes much easier for them to actually book a call. And the other thing that is really, really great about the fact that we are deploying paid media on LinkedIn or Instagram is because now we can access the DM, right? So let's say they followed us on social media, right? So now we could actually DM them to go to the YouTube channel or maybe from watching the YouTube video, they'll end up DMing us and then we'll be able to have a conversation with someone who's already seen some content of ours, right? So this is kind of like a bilateral way of communicating. And then of course, from the DMs, we could book straight into a call. And this is where we can actually have an appointment setter do the majority of the heavy lifting. They could be operating inside the DMs. They can be the ones who are talking back and forth with all the prospects, either pushing them into a call if the prospect is ready or just sending them additional content if the person is not ready. And then of course, from the YouTube video itself, people could just book straight into the call. So you can see here, this meeting meets all the criteria that I was talking about before, where because of the fact that you can automate this entire system with an appointment setter, the content itself is relatively automatic because a single piece of content can talk to as many people as possible. Paid media is also fully automatic. And then all the links that people can click in to book the call is also fully automated. This meets the criteria that we are looking for in terms of these parameters. So this is ultimately what we recommend for you if you don't already have a holistic system that you're utilizing in order to scale beyond just 10K per month, right? If, if you're trying to scale to 25K, 50K, even 100K per month, this is exactly how I would recommend you do it. This is how we essentially do it now. And this is how a lot of our clients are doing it as well, right? You can see here, we have so many customers that are currently doing like 100K per month, 50K per month, 100K per month here, 30K per month. There's so many examples of our clients that are absolutely crushing it. And this is really the system that we are teaching as well. Because there's obviously a lot of complexity here, right? Learning how to actually install an appointment center, learning how to appropriately do YouTube in a way which converts. And you don't need a big following. You don't need to be Mr. Beast. Like for me, I only have at the time of recording this like 1,400 subscribers, yet we are consistently doing multi five figures every single month from our YouTube. Instagram, LinkedIn, we've obviously created tons of content in our YouTube channel about how you can deploy that. So. All of these different parameters, all of these different little intricacies that frankly would be very difficult for you to learn all on your own because it takes a lot of time. And if you're to try to run ads or hire your own setters, there's a very high chance that you might make a mistake and end up even costing yourself more money and time in the process. There's no reason for you to try to reinvent the wheel when we've already solved it, right? So work with us. You can either just book a call below and we can have a direct conversation with you to talk about whether or not this would be the right system to deploy for your business. Or you can just send us a DM, right? If you're not ready to jump on a call, just ask us a couple questions on Twitter or LinkedIn or Instagram and we'll have a bit of a conversation and we'll be able to help you out, right? So once again, if you're a coach, consultant, agency owner, and you're kind of stuck at five, 10, 15K per month and you want to continue to grow, then we'll absolutely be able to help you out. So just book a call below or DM us, all right? So with that being said, thank you so much for spending time with me today on this video and I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.